I'm sorry, but you just can't take the try out of Tri Brigade. I Subscribe. Today I'm going to be showing you my favourite way to play one of the best new decks. With this new format, I wanted to put in a bit of effort competitively and pick up the shiny new decks, tier limits and sprites. I haven't gotten round to fully building tiers yet, but with sprite, I tried playing around with the standard build, you know, frogs and divas, and I just didn't like it. The engine seemed a bit too small, it kind of struggled to go second into big bodies, and just didn't really feel like it had any OTK potential. So we got spicy with it, and you know me. Any reason to play Gato da Sacorso is good enough for me. Alright, so getting into our deck profile here, my uh, favourite way to play Sprite currently. Starting off with the Sprite package, we of course have Triple Sprite Blue, Triple Sprite Jet and Triple Sprite Starter. This is pretty self-explanatory, you kind of need to play all nine of these. And then we also have one copy of Red, which is standard. One copy of Carrot. I feel like you have to play Carrot in this build specifically because you don't end on any Omni Negates. So you're kind of weak to sort of like spell and trap removal like Regeki, Lightning Storm, Evenly Matched. So you kind of want to have Carrot in there as an option. And then we also have, of course, the one copy of Sprite Smashers. And that is our 12 card Sprite package. Moving on to the Tri Brigade, we of course have Triple Rescue Cat. You can play this deck without the Rescue Cat engine. Uh, we're playing 46 because I wanted to incorporate this. It's a one card full combo instead of like your typical two card full combo. So to cater for that we've uh, put in extra defensive cards and whatnot. So we have the three Rescue Cat. We of course have a triple Kit, triple Keras and triple Fractal. These are all access to level 2 normal summons. A level 2 Tri Brigade normal summon plus any sort of like sprite starter is also full combo. We have two Nerval because it's a bit more of a brick and you don't need the recursion as much thanks to Sprite Elf. So uh, only two Nerval, not three. And of course, one Tri Brigade Revolt. Very, very good card, obviously. <laughs> that is our 15 card Rescue Cat slash Tri Type package there. Onto the flex spots, the hand traps, the defensive cards and whatnot. We have one called by the grave, obviously. We're also on three Crossout Designator. Normal Summoning Rescue Cat is a bit more risky than just Normal Summoning a level two, so I've opted to go for the Crossout. It's also just very good because sprites, you're gonna see a lot of mirror matches against many different variants. And uh, alongside the Crossouts, we're also playing Triple Gamma. Normal Summon Rescue Cat, activate effect, get ashed. Chain Gamma, smile. <laughs> smile and wave, boys. Uh, to go alongside that, we have Driver. And also for extension purposes, because we're playing Gamma, we're also playing Emergency Teleport. If you open like double Emergency Teleport and no other engine pieces, you can still like combo just with these two, just any two level twos on the board. And then on top of that, because we are playing Emergency Teleport, we're also playing a copy of Ghost Ogre. This doubles as a crossout target, but uh, if you open e Tally plus full combo and you don't need to use e Tally, you can just use it as an interruption on your opponent's turn by special summoning out the Ghost Ogre as well. We're also on three copies of Ash Blossom, three copies of Infinite Impermanence, and one copy of DD Crow, which is searchable through Shureg, but, you know, also doubles as a crossout target. And, uh, you know, it's fodder for your tri-types. But yeah, overall, that is a 46 card list. You could very easily cut this down to 40. If you're not playing the Rescue Cats, you could probably cut the crossouts, the Gammas. I think Sprite is typically playing crossout now as well with Dark Ruler. So like I said, this is mostly just flex spots. You can play around with the ratios, maybe like cut an Imperm or an Ash, put in a Dark Ruler, a Droplet or whatnot. But yeah, overall, it's very, very versatile, very strong and also quite resilient with all these defensive cards as well. Onto the extra deck, we have one copy of Gigantic Sprite. This gets you access to your Sprite engine. This gets you access to your Tri Brigade engine. This gets you access to, just, just let you play the game really. We have one Scareclaw Lightheart. There are situations where you only have one material in Grave and you still need to combo with the Tri Brigades. So you can like Kit Banish one to special the light heart. Then you can link two into the Ferragite and then special from hand, summon Bear Brum, and go from there. So yeah, you do need to play this card, very, very good. Double Ferragite, you could probably get away with the one. This could maybe be like Lambda, for example, because you are playing Gamma, or you know, it could be anything really. Two can come up in the grind, so we're just playing two for now, but you can possibly get away with one. For the rest of the link twos, we have Bear Brum for combo. Two Sprite Elf, because this card is just crazy in this deck. One Pit Knight Early, which is part of our end board. Actually very good in this deck, TCG exclusive, so OCG never seen this. One Double Dragon Lords. We do get locked to Link 2s most of the time, so this is also part of our end board. 
one IP Mascarena. As part of the combo, you'll go through Mascarena into the Elf, and then on your opponent's turn, you can revive the Mascarena with the Elf, which triggers early for a negate, and then you can Mascarena into the Apollosa, which you'll see in a second. We have one copy of Rugal. This should really be the Doom Eagle because that has more utility. This is kind of redundant when you have Elf, which does the exact same thing. You're not really ending on this at all, so it's literally just for climbing into Access Code Talker. The better Link 3 would be the Doom Eagle. Speak of the Devil, Access Code Talker, Apollosa, which we go into with the Mascarena. Sometimes three materials, sometimes four materials. I mean, sometimes two materials. Depends on how much you get interrupted, really. And then we have two copies of Shurig. You have to play two Shurig at least. So I think the only flex spot here is probably the second Ferragi. Everything else is like kind of mandatory. But yeah, that is our extra deck. We're not going to do a side deck right now, but obviously things like Evenly, Dark Ruler, Droplet, all that kind of stuff. Ultimate Slayer is also a very good one. Ultimate Slayer plus Antis or Garura. You do you. But uh, yeah, that's the deck. Now let's show you some epic combos. All right, combo number one with purely the Rescue Cat here. We're gonna normal summon Rescue Cat and activate its effect, summoning out a Keras and a Kit from the deck. We will then overlay the Kit and the Keras for a copy of Gigantic Sprite, activating the effect of Gigantic Sprite, detaching the Kit to special summon a Sprite Blue from the deck. We're gonna go chain link one blue, chain link two kit. So kit is going to dump Nerval and blue is going to search a copy of Sprite Jet. On resolution, Nerval effect is going to add us a copy of kit or Keras, it doesn't really matter here. From here, we're gonna special summon the jet, activate effect to search a spell or trap, add starter, activate starter here. You can special summon red or carrot. So we'll just summon carrot just now. We're gonna link off the jet and the gigantic sprite into an IP Mascarena. Then we're going to link the Mascarena and the blue into a Sprite Elf. Activate an Elf effect. Because we added Kit, we're going to revive the Keras here to the Elf zone so it can't be targeted. Activate the effect of Keras. We're going to banish the Nerval and the Kit from the grave. That's going to special summon out a copy of Ferragite. Ferragite effect, special summon Kit from hand. We're then going to link the Keras and the Ferragite into a copy of Bear Brum. This is hard made, so at Revolt we can play with three zones. Activating Kit will banish two materials again, Ferragite plus the Keras, which is gonna summon our double Dragon Lords. Then we can link the Kit and the Bear Brum into a Pit Knight early, which is gonna trigger the Bear Brum to add a copy of Revolt and put one back. So we of course set the Revolt and this is our end board. So with this board, we want to wait for our opponent to summon a monster, and if we want to negate that monster, we'll activate Elf, targeting the Mascarena and Grave. And then because a monster early points to activated its effect, you can chain this effect to target a monster on the field, reduce its attack to zero, and negate its effect. So this is kind of like an imperm that's triggered by the Elf. So Elf is gonna reborn the Mascarena, and we'll get the effect off of early. Now here we can activate the effect of Mascarena, uh, to go into the Apollosa using, you can either just use the early or you can use the early plus the carrot or, you know, it depends on what you're playing against. There's a lot of different sort of like variables on this board and they all tribute for cost to open zones for revolt. So you don't have to worry about that too much. But uh, yeah, let's just go all three of these into the Apollosa. And then we also have a bounce with the double dragon lords. We can activate revolt, summoning out the kit, nerval, and bear brum again, which of course is going to summon out the shurig. And then we get our follow up, and our opponent is absolutely just dead if we make that combo. All off of a singular rescue cat. Gato da Sacorso. All right, combo number two a singular sprite starter. How far can we get with this? So we're going to activate the sprite starter special, summon out a copy of sprite blue. Activating the effect of blue, we're going to add a copy of Sprite Jet. Special summon the Jet and activate effect to add another copy of Smashers to set for the opponent's turn. Now we're going to overlay these two into a copy of Gigantic Sprite. Activating the effect of this, we'll special summon out a Tri Brigade Kit. And then we can link both of these into Sprite Elf. Kit is going to activate here, dumping a Nerval. And then with the Nerval, uh, because we would technically only have one material in Grave if we special summon out the kit with Elf, uh, we can't summon a Link 1 in this particular scenario because we are locked to level 2s through Starter and Gigantic Sprite. So in this case, we are going to add a copy of Fractal to the hand. Activating the Fractal effect, we're going to dump a copy of Keras from the deck, putting multiple materials in the Grave. Activating Elf now, we'll special summon back out the kit. Activate kit effect, banishing two cards for the Bear Brum, and then we'll link these two 
into the Pit Knight early once again, triggering the Bear Brum to grab a Revolt. Setting these two is going to give us a Monster or Back Row Negate in the form of Starter through Red or Carrot. We have the Revolt for the Shurig Banish, we have a Negate with Early, and then an Elf Reborn, which, you know, just throwing back Jet or Blue to get an additional search, it doesn't really matter here. Either way, off of just the Starter, you've still got loads of resources and uh, probably enough to just kill your opponent on the next turn as well. Combo number three, this is going to be the same end board as the Rescue Cat combo, however, this is with any level 2 Tri-Brigade Normal Summon, plus any of the sprite sort of starters like Jet and Blue and whatnot. So here we're going to Normal Summon a copy of Keras, and then Special Summon a Jet from our hand, activating Jet Effect, add a Spell or Trap, we'll add Starter. Activating the Starter, we'll Special Summon out a copy of Blue, and activate the Blue Effect to add a Monster, Again, red or carrot doesn't really matter, we'll add red here, and then special summon the red, giving us a monster negate to protect our place. Overlaying Keras and Jet here into a gigantic sprite, we're going to activate the effect to special summon out a copy of Kit, and then link the sprite and the Kit into, once again, the Mascarena, triggering the Kit, dumping Nerval to add Kit to the hand. Now linking the Mascarena with the blue into Sprite Elf here, and activating the effect of Elf again because we added the kit, we're going to reborn the Keras to the zone Elf points to, and then Keras effect, banishing two, literally the exact same as the Rescue Cat combo, special summon Ferrajit, Ferrajit effect, special summon kit from the hand, link Keras plus Ferrajit into the Bear Brum, trigger Ferrajit, draw a hand trap, laugh, <laughs> kit effect, banishing two once again, Double Dragon Lords and then linking two into the Pit Knight early, triggering the Bear Brum to, uh, what was that doing there? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, whoa, where's the Revolt? I forgot the Revolt! There we go, happy days. We add the Revolt here and end on the same board with a Keras and a Jet in our opening hand. Next combo! Any two garbage useless level twos! Wow, what a shit hand! What are we gonna do with double e tally? That's crazy. Unfortunately, we're not playing Punk, so uh, we're gonna activate e tally. Special summon out Gamma. Wow, crazy. Activate e tally number two. Special summon out a second Gamma. Where do we go from here? Well, surprisingly, the exact same board and plays as if we were to start off with the Sprite starter. So overlaying the two Gammas into Gigantic Sprite. We'll activate the effect, detaching a Gamma to special summon out Kit. Linking the Kit and the Sprite into Elf. We're going to trigger the Kit, dumping Nerval. And again, because we're not going to have enough materials in the grave of the Nerval, we're going to be adding a copy of Fractal. Activating the Fractal Effect, discarding it, we're going to dump just a Keras, doesn't really matter. Elf Effect, reborn the Kit here. Kit is going to banish two to summon out the Bear Brum. And then we'll link those two again into the Pit Knight early, triggering the Bear Brum for a Revolt. So it's not quite the same as Starter because we don't have the additional Starter, but uh, we do still have the Negate on early, the Revolt, and then the Revive on Elf, which, you know... We don't have blue to revive either this time, or jet, so it's not quite as good, but it's still playable for, you know, literally just two garbage level twos. And that's only the tip of the iceberg. This is still just early stages of me experimenting with the deck. There's literally, like, a million different lines you can play through. Like, I think Fractal alone can get you to, like, Revolt plus a Negate. So I'm excited to take this deck into the new format and see how it develops. Let me know what you think if you want to see any other videos based around this deck. And, uh, yeah, for now, that's about it. So thank you for watching. Playing Yu-Gi-Oh! properly will be the next upload in a day or two, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.